Hey there, how is everyone today? Just want to welcome you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh my goodness. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about how to avoid negativity. You all, honestly, let's be honest, sometimes we want to put blame on other people, but really a lot of times it's just us and we It's our own minds that we have to grab a hold of and say, no, we're we're not going to be that person to put ourselves down, okay? If we cannot value who we are and who God made us, how do we expect other people to? So that's why it's so important to do the internal work um, and really saying things to yourself like, yes, I am amazing, but actually feeling it, okay? I know that we always talk about affirmations and how important affirmations are, but the difference is when you do affirmations and you actually feel it from your soul, that is where you make a difference. That's where the transition actually comes. So if you're not familiar with who I am, my name is Galen. I'm I go by Chef Gallen. Um, I'm a certified holistic nutritionist, so all things clean and organic. Um, I'm all over the social media. I'm a gut health specialist, so I have a probiotic line called Kiefer Complete and a couple books published on Amazon. Um, but the one that I'm going to be talking about today is in my Divinely Inspired book. And You know, I love this chapter because it's all about following your bliss and how important it is to, you know, just live your life and enjoy. You know, sometimes I feel like we say, right, all of us are doing like gazillion vision boards and trying to get all of our things on, on, uh, all on, um, all the things going now, right? So, because it's like the new year, right? New year, new you. Um, so I, I work with a lot of experts all over the world. Um, I was talking to one of my experts um, in my holistic movement um, at my holistic institute. Um, and I'm interviewing them on Monday. And I'm really excited. They're from Ecuador. And... You know, they lived here in America and they just wanted a different lifestyle for themselves and they're already in the holistic movement. So they just like took their kids and left. They they moved to Ecuador. They're living the lifestyle. And it's so important because we only have one shot at this life, like one. That's crazy, okay? So, and all we have is this moment, like this here and now that's why when i come on here and i share i share so much from like my heart because i appreciate you all listening to me i mean it's like we have one shot at this life right so how are we going to embrace it like what are we going to do with it okay so do you have something daily that you love to do um you should do vow to do at least one thing every day that gives you intense pleasure intense pleasure like not just pleasure but oh my god I love doing this like I am blessed to live on the coast so every single time after my little guy uh gets on the bus I live on the water so I just go over on the dock and I do my quiet time on the dock I will say it was like really cold here it usually doesn't get this cold in my region but um it was like 31 degrees this morning and uh yeah, doing <laughs> doing my quiet time on the dock, that, that is just not an option at all. Um, but I do that every morning because for me, that's bliss. Like for me, I love it. I love being out there. I love watching the fishermen come in. I love just grounding myself and just looking at the beauty of the ocean and, you know, the sun it hadn't even started rising yet and I'm just like out there just ready for the day and it it just feels so good I just love it so that's what you would call like for me personally intense pleasure like that would be intense pleasure <laughs> okay so following your bliss so here here are some ideas um 
get a relaxing Swedish massage by a loved one or, or over at a spa. <laughs> Literally, there's a spa right under me. It's like we have eucalyptus rooms. I mean, holy Moses. Okay. Um, listen to inspiring music that transports you. You all are music people. Pet your pet, right? Pet your pet. Um, go for a bike ride, take a walk in nature, make a delightful meal, toil in the garden, dance the night away, take a goddess bath, watch movies, go swimming, set your, set your, um, muses free and create a painting. I've been wanting to do this with my girlfriends. I'll probably do it soon when the weather turns nice. I want to, I just want to do, I want to, I want us to go out and paint the sunset. I would say sunrise, but my, my friends don't get up that early. <laughs> um, and also too, like this Saturday night, I'm just having a bunch of girls over all my girlfriends. We're just having like, just to get together, you know, it's like the middle of, uh, January. It's like really cold out. And so I say, I miss, I miss my friends. I miss them. So I say that's bliss. You know, that's bliss. That's bliss to me. Okay. Um, plan a special pampering day. All right. Buy or pick up flowers. Go to a sanctuary temple or church. Take a long weekend trip to the mountains or just someplace that you're just not familiar with. So just someplace just different. Just someplace different. Okay. Um, And then this is, this is uh, how to overcome negativity. So when you do these things, you overcome negativity because you're walking in your bliss. Like you're being extremely intentional, all right? Um, these are attributes that I live by. Let's just say that. Um, these right here. So avoid the news if it makes you irritable. It makes me very irritable. So yes, I... I Avoid the news, but I will say, um, I definitely keep people in my life that will like share with me like what's going on out there. Okay, so I'm not I'm not that disconnected. I just personally can't handle the news. I just cannot turn off the TV if it riles you up. And this was kind of interesting. So um, someone who I'm really close with uh, went on a European vacation for a couple weeks, and the first week they were there. They had left their phone on uh, one of like one of the excursions, you know, in Denmark or something, and they couldn't get their phone back. And they were like wondering like why they all of a sudden were feeling better because they weren't going to be able to come back to America for like right another week or whatever. And then their spouse on the same day within a two hour time period um, accidentally broke their phone. So the couple that was out there, literally one was lost and the other broke within a two hour time period. But she was sharing with me that she had all these um, internal issues with her digestive system. And she literally thought that it was like all these issues, like what she's eating and you know she needs to detox. No, it was stress from the news. She said by the time she came back to America, she was completely healed because she didn't watch the news. Okay, so I'm just saying, you guys might think that, you know, it's allergies or all these other situations, but honestly, it's probably just what you're watching. Okay, um, take a longer, less traveled route, if you like that, shop online or arrange home deliveries if shopping, grocery shopping is an issue, which I have to do, because sometimes, Though I love my blueberry, my five-year-old son, sometimes, sometimes bringing him to the grocery store on certain days is a challenge. So yes, we will get a delivery. And then this is really important too, just avoiding all gossip. We don't need that. We don't need that negative energy around us. So you all, I love coming on here and just being with you all, sharing from my heart. Um, I own a coaching program and a probiotic company. So if you want more information about that, do not hesitate to get in touch with me.